Hey Gramps, what's up? Whoa! Whoa! There's glitches everywhere! Today we're going to be playing Pow Far Ninja by Chip Sneezy Guff. Let's go. All right, there's the star. It's a really big level. Oh, I love this music. How did he add the music? All righty, so let's go ahead and play this level. I really like we're playing as the, the abominable glitch. Uh, let's see, we're going to jump out of this. There's Gramps. Hey Gramps, what's up? Whoa! Whoa! There's glitches everywhere! I don't know what's up with that, but it seems like... So it seems like every time I bump into Gramps, he starts creating all these glitches. Look at all those glitches. Alright. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run down here. Oh, that's a lot of spikes. That's a lot of spikes. That's a lot of spikes. Ah, that's a lot of glitches. Oh my goodness. I feel like maybe I was supposed to go the top route, but uh, eesh, let's keep going. All right, I keep breaking these blocks and now I'm on a clock. I'm on the clock, guys. I'm on it. All right. There's a giant clock, and now we're going to go through here. There's some clouds. Looks like we gotta jump on the clouds, but at the very least, the clouds are giving us health, so that's nice. Because I stepped on too many spikes. Yes, I did. All right, here's some clouds. We're getting some hearts. The glitch is bouncing around all over this level. And yeah, it's a star. Nice. All righty. I really loved Pal Far Ninja by Chip Sneezy Guff. It had some really awesome music going on. Um, we see we get to play as the abominable snow glitch. That's really nice. And we had some interesting things going on uh, between Gramps and creating all the glitches and the clouds giving back heart. And so now I'm going to remix the level so that I can see how it was made. First off, I want to see how they made that really awesome music. Let me show you guys a quick trick for how to change the music in your levels. So here in the inventory, you see this picture with a frame around it. You can use this portion of the inventory to change out what the background looks like. So we got a scary level, underground level, a lab, mountains with the cherry blossom leaves, candy land, all these different levels. And the coolest part is, when you change levels, you get different music. Here's the usual one. This is the one that we start with. And this is the music that goes along with that background. Let's change it out. Let's choose the underground lab. And it's totally different music. By changing the backgrounds on your levels, you can change up what the music sounds like. And when changing what the music sounds like, you change the entire feel of the level, which is super cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to the Metropolis to have this cool superhero music. I'm gonna press play. And you can hear the superhero music in the background. That's really cool. And I love using the superhero music for this level. It just, it fits really well. So, one of the first things I noticed when I played this level was when I bumped into Gramps, he started making some glitches. Let's check out that code. I'm gonna go into edit mode, and I'm gonna tap on Gramps to see his code. In last episode, we learned about the on bump event, and we learned about parameters. So here we see that Gramps has the when it's bumped event, and here we see that the parameter is set to foo. So when Gramps is bumped by a foo, he will create a glitch and cast the glitch special effect. So the interesting thing is, Gramps kept creating glitches even after I had stopped bumping him. Let's see how that works. So I'm gonna play through this again so I can show you exactly what's happening. I bump into Gramps. Even when I'm not touching him, he continues to create more and more glitches. Why do you think that is? The reason is because the glitch counts as a foo. So when Gramps creates a glitch, he immediately bumps into that glitch, 
It counts as another bump event, and he creates another glitch. So he keeps creating glitch after glitch as long as one of the glitches is touching him. And he'll only stop once he's no longer touching a glitch. Create command has so many parameters. Let's check them all out. We have create a box, crate, red rubber ball, beach ball, balloon, stone ball, heart, space crate, lava ball, enemy, bunny, glitch, ninja, and star. It's important when choosing the item you will create because these items will live in the game the same way you would drag and drop an item into your game. Instead of creating a glitch, let's have him create a bunny. What do you think that'll do? Let's play it and find out. Gramps creates a bunny, and that's it. Because Gramps doesn't have a win hit by pet event, he doesn't keep creating bunnies. Let's add another event. When Gramps is hit by a bunny, let's have him create something else. I'm going to create an event. When it bumps a pet, when it bumps anything, create a red rubber ball. Let's see how this works. So once again, I'm the glitch. I'm going to bump into Gramps. That's super cool. All right, so when I bump into Gramps, he creates a bunny. They keep jumping on Gramps. That means that he keeps being bumped by bunnies, and then he keeps creating red rubber balls, which creates this chaotic bunny and red rubber ball game. We saw how the code works on Gramps. Now, let's check it out with a different object in the game. So I moved Glitch over to the middle of the level, just so we can test this out. When Glitch steps on the clouds, the clouds make hearts, right? Well, the clouds are making health. When the Glitch steps on a cloud, the cloud gives him health. What do you guys think would happen if I changed what the clouds are doing? When it bumps so right now we have this code. Heel. When bumped by a foo, give the player health. What do you guys think would happen if I change this from heal the player to create a heart? It looks like very similar code, but it does something slightly different. Try putting this code in your own game to see what happens. So comments are a brand new feature. We just implemented them a couple weeks ago. I'm going to comment on this level. There's definitely traps, because I definitely fell on the spikes. Um, but also there was hearts, because the clouds gave me hearts. I think that level's a winner. And it's pretty cool. Let's see, what else, what else should I give it? You know what, I think it was pretty silly, because of all those glitches that kept being created when I stepped on Gramps. So I've given this level some comments, and then the creator can read those comments and see, was it too hard? Was it too short? Was it cute? Was it artsy? A big thanks to one of our kid beta testers for submitting this game. You guys can play test games just like I'm doing and give feedback with emojis. I'll see you guys next time. Keep coding, keep playing, and have a great day. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below.